Hello, and welcome to part three of our look at the new requisitions module in FreezerWorks 2017. Today we are going to quickly go through the approval process, where users with permission to approve requisitions, what we call approval authorities, view requests, edit them, and then ultimately approve or reject them. If you have set up email, then whenever a new requisition is created, all approval authorities will receive an email alerting them. We will first perform an approval without e-signatures required, then with them, so you can see how the process changes a bit. And finally, we'll reject a request. Now, upon opening the View Requisitions list view, I notice that there are three requisitions listed with the status of Requested on the Pending tab. These are the requisitions awaiting approval. Let's open one. You'll notice that you have full reign to edit the requisition, even though you did not create it. For instance, you may exclude any aliquots you choose to prior to approval. Let's remove all the T4 aliquots. If I want to add aliquots, I can do that as well. See part two of this series for info about adding to requisitions. Now that the requisition is more to my liking, I'll click Approve Request. And this automatically changes the Approve Request button to Fulfill Request and removes the Exclude and Include buttons from the form, as no more modification of the aliquot selection is allowed. To finalize the approval, however, we need to hit Save. Now I'm going to turn on e-signatures in the background so we can see them in action. We'll open another requisition now. This time, there is a little message beneath the Approve Request button, which indicates that two e-signatures are necessary to approve the requisition. Let's click Approve Request, and a small login type dialog appears. Enter your username and password, Take note of the lock aliquot selection so that it cannot be changed box, as this will make sure that the requisition will remain the same after your approval. We'll check it on and click OK. Upon returning to the requisition form, you'll notice the message underneath approve request has changed, indicating one e-signature has been given. And a lock icon now appears to the left as well, indicating that I can no longer edit the aliquot selection. I cannot exclude any aliquots, and I cannot add any as well. I will now log out and log back in as another user in order to complete the approval. You'll notice on the Pending tab that the requisition is still marked as requested. Let's open the requisition and click Approve Request once again. We'll enter the information again and click OK. The Approve Request changes to Fulfill like before. Let's take a quick look at the Approval Log. This succinctly depicts what actions have taken place on the requisition and who has provided e-signatures. The two e-signatures we entered are visible in the list box. So now let's reject a requisition. Now even though this requisition has already been fully approved, it can still be rejected up until it is actually fulfilled and a workflow is run on the aliquots. We'll discuss this in the next video. So I'll click Reject Request and a confirmation will appear where we can provide a reason for the rejection. For my example, a higher priority request has come in for the same aliquots. Click Reject, and the requisition becomes read-only, and the reason for rejection is displayed at the bottom of the form. The approval log will record this rejection as well. To finalize the rejection, click Save. Upon returning to the requisitions list view, you'll notice that the rejected requisition has been moved to the Rejected tab. Rejecting a requisition that has not yet been approved 
works exactly the same way. And remember that you can always reject a requisition when it is in the middle of approval as well, when one of two e-signatures has been entered, for example. Well, that does it for today. Join us in our next video when we finish the requisition process by fulfilling some requisitions. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.